Ladies and gentlemen, the final contest of the afternoon is a heavyweight contest consisting of six five-minute rounds. One fall, one submission, or a knockout to decide the winner. Between on my left and in the red corner from Gillingham, Wayne Bridges! His opponent on my right and in the blue corner from Croydon, Steve Vidal! Thank you, Mike Judd. Steve Vidal then. Now of Croydon, but of course formerly from Ellesmere Port in Cheshire. 15 stone one of Steve. Giving away quite a bit here today to Wayne Bridges. There he is. 16 stone four of Wayne Bridges. Six foot one inch. Both about the same. Had Steve a little shorter, maybe. One fall to decide this one. And Steve Vida in his usual lighter trunks that on a black and white set will probably look white. The bandage on Wayne Bridges' right arm will help identify if at any time you cannot see the trunks. So six five-minute rounds, one fall decides this one, and there should really be some good wrestling here. Two of the very top leading contenders in the heavyweight bracket, and also two of the, uh, perhaps the best-looking hunks of wrestler we've seen in the ring together for quite some time. Get more letters for photographs of these two than practically anybody else in the business. Steve Vito went into that for Nelson. Wayne Bridges allowed it. Now let's see why. He wants to prove he can break it, I suppose, even with that bandage on his right arm. Last flyer, Wayne Bridges on the top of the cross press, but no, a little too late with that one. But that flying uh, tackle didn't quite operate either for Steve Peter. Bridges with the um, with the bridge, if you'll pardon the pun. Double-handed interlock between these two men. Who I would back. Most weight holds, of course, Bridges is going to have the advantage, but Vito Speed is so terrific that it will counteract that up to a point. Less than a couple of minutes to go now in round one. Side head chance for Bridges. Another forecast, Walton forecast, it'll probably go wrong. I bet you that uh, Max Ward, the referee, has nothing to do in this part at all regarding Walton's. Can't see either of these two men being temperamental and starting off a needle. Pull on, grab it, hold, two bridges. Forcing Vita down, back to canvas, but uh, certainly can't hold him there with that. 
Not the shoulder blades down for three anyway. A minute to go. Got to get those arms down as well. Let's get the shoulder blades covered. Thirty seconds. Peter fights his way up. Still in the same hold. Interesting to see how he counters this. Still there. The Grab it. Eight seconds. We didn't worry anymore. Just a couple of seconds to go. From the point of view of a pinfall, of course, he didn't worry anymore, but. Uh, the neck knows that he's been in a hole for a long time there, and a powerful one because this boy, his opponent today, has got a tremendous amount of that power. Steve Vida, of course, they both these men run their own public houses now, actually. Uh, Steve Vida in uh, Wallingham and uh, Wayne Bridges in Clapham. So they're both part time wrestlers nowadays. Seconds away, round two. Round two, five to go. One fall to decide the bout. Heavyweight, Wayne Bridges versus, uh, Wayne Bridges of Gillingham, of course, versus uh, Steve Vida. Now, build from Croydon, folding press, Vida, but I don't know if he can hold that this early. Grapple fans will remember Wayne Bridges in the tremendous bout a, a few months ago on a Saturday afternoon between him and Mike Marino. Mike Marino coming up and waiting for him. But of course he is a, a student, a protege of Mike Marino's. Mike Marino started him off in the ring and uh, it was a great bout. I'm hoping this one will be half as good as that bout was versus Marino. That's every chance of being. Position of Vigo's left knee there, stopping his man turning. Therefore, the arm lever more effective. Bridges turning with it, but he soon turned back. Had to. Double-handed wrist lever of feeders, lasting almost as long as the gravit did in round one of uh, Bridges. <laughs> Reaching for the head mayor, gets it, but Peter still holds onto the lever. knows that that left arm of his has been in that beaver for so long and Vito wants to go for it very quick again now A good weakener becomes useless if it's not followed up quickly and there it is back hammer but uh, bridges out quick two minutes to go round two more than Bridges style 
well strength hold to the bear hug there but it didn't last and over the top for a shoulder press by reader but the feet of bridges through the ropes must mean the break I don't think at the as early as the first the second, first two three rounds anyway that Vida could have um, held that even if he hadn't been so near the ropes. Again the bear hug. Off the ropes to follow. One minute left. Five, concentrating on this bear hug move now. Oh, yes, a flyer, a typical Vito flyer there. A little bit late, and he was caught in the body scissors. by leaning back there, taking the pressure off, we we'll have to try it again, that's better. He's only got about uh, 10 seconds to go. So far, our forecast is correct that this remained very sporting. Both men, Wayne Bridges from Gillingham, 16-4, an amateur, of course, with Ashton Club in London, and as a middleweight, defeated then the then British champion in those days, but turned pro full-time in the mid-60s, and still trains with the weights. As I said earlier, Mike Marino started him off as a pro, and I should think Mike is pretty proud of his prodigy. Seconds away, round three. Round three, four to go. Bridges versus Vito. Vito in the lighter trunks. Back to us now. In the corner. And Bridges really caught that one. <laughs> Left ear especially. But it's a great get out to a bear hug. Going in with a side head chance right now. <laughs> Holding the chancery well away from him. <laughs> so Bridges concentrating too much on the chancery on his own neck. To have much time to worry about a counter at the moment. Now finally going for one. Yes, he shouldn't have. Because the chancery is still there. <laughs> Over the top cross press. He didn't go for the cross press bridges for some reason. Now follow-up and still that chancery is there and it gets a two count on a pinfall chance Peter. and another two but each time Max Ward's voice says two Wayne Bridges just rolls out of trouble temporarily anyway Nelson, you almost got it, but just didn't quite close the hands behind Vito's neck. 
Follow down a little bit slow. Leader waiting for it. Again, that ch chancery, distant chancery of uh, Vida's. for that counter reversed that arm lever neatly but pushed couldn't avoid pushing Vida into the ropes to get the break certainly wasn't intentional side headlock Bridges Good back drop by Vida but too late on the return and trying to force his man over double eight Nelson but no it's a folding press chance to Bridges now but still Vida rolls out of trouble just on the counter two and there's the handshake which proves that these two have no intention of getting any needle into this part at all. direction to make sure it stays on for a bit anyway and quite a weakener it could be that leg lock half a minute to go now in the third That's about it for this round. <laughs> Steve Vito. Well, it's uh, so often we see Steve giving away um, quite a few pounds, but this afternoon almost a stone and a quarter. And it's proving a little bit tough for his long distant moves, especially the drop kick attempts and things like this. He hasn't got going with those at all yet so far. But he naturally daren't get too close in either because the bear hug could be fatal. Seconds away, round four. Round four, three to go. One fall to decide. Steve Vida with his back to us now. Versus Wayne Bridges. I think probably Steve Vida has had more chance at a pinfall to now. He's had several two counts. See, every time Vito stalks his man, he gets a too close, he can't resist an attempt at a strength hold, and of course Bridges just waiting for that. Oh, 
Oh yes, Peter Booker. Me up dead right then. Oh, he tried the same thing, but um, that's exactly where it landed. I couldn't see. Vita could be in trouble here. Right at nose, I think. Vita going to make it. Yes, up at nine. Uh, well, he got out of the way of that one in time. But he didn't miss the first one. Vita going in fast, but it's a double arm to Bridges. And Vita in trouble there, just getting out of it on the count of two and a half. Double arm again, but Vita underneath this time. And ropes save uh, Bridges that occasion, but still it's a sporting box. Great to see two men like this. Really great wrestling men. And keeping the rule bending right out of it. In fact, nearly every arm lever that uh, Vida has been uh, worrying Wayne Bridges with has so far been on Bridges' left arm, the one that is not bandaged. Now, can you ima imagine Mick McManus doing that? too slow but this time yes neat cross press over the top bridges and again Vida for a second there thought he wasn't going to be able to throw that 16 stone four man off in time A minute now in the fourth. But Vito expecting a double leg grab there. But that came in another one, a beauty second one. Vito just up in time, nine, folding press, and Wayne is putting the whole weight behind that, but still can't hold him, the body scissors gets him out. So that, uh, those Vito legs must be equally powerful as uh, his opponents here, to stop the pinfall there. Just a few seconds now in the fourth. And the slam on the bell. And the slam, the body slam that never arrived. And Vida really neatly counted it actually. Bridges probably glad to hear that bell the end of that particular move. Well, he's not taking a tremendous advantage of this weight with his guard. I don't know why he doesn't go in close and keep with the, the bear hugs a little more. So maybe he's saving it for the last two rounds. Seconds away, round five. Round five, two to go. One fall decides. Side head chancery now to Bridges. Notice the left hand around the top of the head rather than around the side of it, the opposite side of it. Oh yes, the double body check now. Which one's going to come off worse in there? S seven, eight. And both just up in time with Vita going down for the clutch hold and slam, but the slam didn't come. The cross press came to Bridges, but thrown off just as he got there. And the drop kick now to Vita, nicely timed, and Bridges just saves himself from going out. Again.
Again, the drop kick, but this time Bridges neatly sidestepped. And not too good a landing for Vida de Cruz. And a bad landing. It looked very awkward landing. I thought it was going to be that right elbow, but no, it's his side, I think, this damage giving him the trouble. And DeVito getting out very quick after the check because he sees that he's in trouble. And looks very like that's going to be all we'll see of this bout. But now the referee is saying, right, that's it. And it's Mike Judd, our master of ceremonies, getting into the ring to announce exactly what's happened here. Ladies and gentlemen, in round five, the referee has no option but to stop the contest in favour of Steve Vidor. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Steve Vidor has asked if this could be made a no contest and the referee has agreed. Well, that's it from all of us here at uh, Westley-Fonsey. It's goodbye for now and have a good week. Go on.